Hey y'all, how are y'all doing? This is Nate from PlayerCourt.com here with my infinitely better looking friend, Scott. And today we're gonna talk about forehand spacing and it's a good thing because Scott's forehand is just so much gosh darn better than mine. I think you guys are gonna especially like this video because it's a lot more of Scott than it is of me. All right guys, so today we're talking about proper spacing on the forehand and this is everything because regardless of it's how good- especially important. Regardless of how good your timing is, if, you, if your spacing is off, it's going to cause problems. All right, and there's a couple things, little parameters that we can set to make sure our, spa our spacing is especially good. Especially, especially good. Especially. All right, so number one is making sure that you get your outside leg behind the ball. So as you can see in the demo here, every time the ball is being struck, I'm working on getting my outside leg, the leg that I'm loading, I'm coiling on behind the ball. All right, if for any reason that leg's not behind the ball, I'm gonna be off balance. I'm not gonna be able to corkscrew and then really work through that on coil to deliver the power back. This really is the foundation of a balanced forehand too, so don't discredit this. Like This is more important than I think a lot of you give it credit. It's huge. All right, and I know so, you may be thinking, well, what about getting on your front foot? Absolutely if the ball allows me. If Scott's incoming ball, my opponent's incoming ball is short or if it's weaker, absolutely. I would work to, to step in and be a little bit more aggressive off this front foot, but right now it's about absorbing power and really delivering it back. And then right. step two is just a quick reminder for spacing, right? Yep. Talking about our left hand as a right-handed player. 100%, that left hand, we really want it horizontal, okay? So not only, we, we've done a bunch of videos where we've talked about getting the, the left arm out because it helps the unit turn, helps our shoulders get turned, but it's also about spacing, okay? And we're gonna show you a cool little drill to make sure that we understand exactly how this left hand and how the right foot coordinate and work together to keep the appropriate spacing. All right, so here we're taking a closer look, really investigating these parameters being set for this proper spacing. And the first, as you can see, is the loading of the outside leg, the right leg is a right hand player, really loading it. And something important to note here is the foot is parallel with the baseline. It can be offset just a little bit, slightly diagonal, but it's really important that the toe faces out towards the curtain because this is gonna help keep the shoulders closed longer so you don't over rotate. The second thing that we're gonna really look at here is the left hand, all right? It's as if that left hand is reaching across, pushing out towards the opposing wall. And this is ensuring that unit turn, but it's also teeing up the ball. It's making sure that ball stays on the outside of the body so that the racket can get through the swing path and extension, giving us proper contact. Okay, so here we got a drill that's really, really good at understanding the spacing, forces us to get that non-dominant hand and loading on the outside leg. With Scott using hand fed, he can control the perimeters of the drill, but it still forces me to track the ball, keeping the ball on the outside, staying focused on where I want the contact with the drop feed. And I can really start visualizing what this should look like when we go live. It's one of our favorite drills to use with our students, and it's certainly something that you can get out and practice. And you can do this with just a handful of balls. You don't have to necessarily have someone feeding, right? Just if you drop the ball to the side, make sure you get that left hand out, make sure you get your leg behind it, and then work through the stroke. All right, guys, so in summary, make sure you're using that right foot or left foot if you're left-handed to get behind the ball and get that foundation, and then using that left hand or right hand if you're left-handed for spacing to figure out exactly where that ball should be relative to your body. And guys, this instruction is, is fairly general for most skill sets. It's gonna help pretty much everybody, but not all instruction is, is this general. Inside the community, we have very specific uh, instruction that is tailor-made just for your skill level. All right, so if you come in, you check out the community, we're gonna pair you with players. That's a huge perk, right? We're, you're gonna meet all these new tennis friends, but we're also gonna make sure you get the instruction that you need that's gonna improve your game the fastest. It's gonna be like being on court with Scott and I as if we were your personal coach. All right, so get in there, check out that community. If you like today's instruction, hit like. If you never wanna miss a video, hit subscribe, and we'll see you really soon. See you guys. Later.